G'day, today we're going to have a look at level 32 in the Emerald DLC of Train Valley 2. This one's called Nuclear Gulch. We have 19 and a half minutes. We have to spend at least 740,000 and we can't allow any trains to arrive at the wrong station. And I've had a go at this one and I failed because I think I took too long to get the uh, microchips started. So, if we have a look here, we only have the one base. He wants a whole bunch of things. Let's, uh, let's get him connected. So, first up, what we're going to do is run our way down here going to stop part way because sometimes you just sort of circle around and it loses its mind so let's get that going first we're currently running with trains that are operating on a divisible by six uh most of the stuff up here is by seven and then we've got a weird 30 which is by five even though we don't have five seater trains um we need a lot of coal in this one so we need 20, sorry, we need 30 coal for the ingots. We need 42 coal alone for the, um, just the coal order. And then we need another 28 coal for the appliances. So we definitely have a lot in our uh, initial request. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So then what we'll do is build uh this road down here and out that way and across there we'll swing out one there now the other thing i learned from the last time i played is there wasn't a urgency to get the tires going like i ended up with so many more tires than i needed Um, so I don't have to stress about bringing him in. Again, we want 30. Just want to work out. Oh, sorry, keep going. Didn't mean to disturb you, sir. Okay, so he's four. So that's six, twelve, eighteen, at twenty-four. Another one more full one to get out. Thirty. Okay, so we don't have that much in the way of money yet. And I think the next thing that we're going to have to do is build this. Luckily, we don't need much in the way of road beyond it. So what we can do now is start to move 28 of this that way. But because we're dealing with a divisible of 6, it's going to be the full 30 that we're uh, going to shift. We don't need the 30 yet because the first thing we want to make with this is the appliances, which only wants the, the 28. Would be nice to have that extra um, train at the moment too, because these are some pretty long runs these guys are going on. We need five trains for these runs and we've only got four. Alright, let's get this guy connected. Now once this last train passes here, what I'm going to do is send more coal down this way. I think that's our next priority. We don't want this guy sitting there full, not sending people anywhere, because we're going to just need heaps of workers everywhere. So let's get this lot going. Uh, and the other good thing about sending him is it means that we can start to send these guys as well and they're not going to get in each other's way. Problem though is that we um, uh, we don't really have enough trains to send both at once too efficiently. But I think as soon as we get that 
60,000. We're just going to jump and buy a fifth train. It's our best bet. Preference at the moment is sending the copper ore over sending the people. Um, I realized that I didn't have this started, so this is just capping out at 28 because I sent all of it at once. But again, it doesn't matter because this is just for the appliances. Um, otherwise, what we'd want to do is sort of send them so that the, it starts production and makes two things before we... Um, uh, before the last train arrives, so we actually do end up with 30 in there. What we want to do again is get 30 guys down here. We'll buy that extra train. So we've got 12, that's 18, he's 24, he makes it 30. So then next what we want to do is send 30 guys down to the copper ore. Then we need to send 30 guy or 28 guys down to the copper ingots. So we are definitely just non-stop with the workers at the moment. Twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. And then what we're going to do is get these guys going down here. I think we're going to have to bring in the uh, process rubber soon. I would kind of prefer to have this full and ready to go before then. Like I said, I think that there's heaps of time uh, for the rubber. It actually does come pretty quick. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. So then we just need four guys, and then that's it done. Let's just pause for a second. Build. This up and round. So we need to really start to get workers down um, those chips sooner rather than later. Like I said, really take a while to manufacture um, hopefully we're going to start seeing that we're making money um, let me just work this out so the 30 that I've got there are for here so we do need to send more guys down there to make 42 I don't think there are urgency yet so let's get more guys set up this way But I think our next goal is to hit 95,000 so that we can start um, moving guys down that way. And then we'll upgrade our trains. And then we need to spend the money to make sure that we've got um, spent at least 700,000. Alright, so here come our first lot of tyres. This will make us a much bigger boost of money. Just got to be careful because those trains are a lot faster than our, um, our friends down here. Okay, so that's 18. This guy makes that 24, which again, we only need four guys from here to make that 28. And I think we end up with five in there. But basically, we're trying to avoid wasting guys when we can. Because we need every every man. Okay, so let's buy that. Get him connected. Uh, 
Um, then let's start sending these guys off that way. Now we're going to start looking at spending money to upgrade our trains. We want everyone to sort of jump to sevens. I'll hold off sending the last of those guys while this guy speeds past. Alright, and we'll send seven speed or a seven seat dude that way and um, the speed is a big part of that we want that speed to sort of begin through now just gotta be careful of that one seater train that we've left in the middle there so these guys aren't gonna uh, max that out all right and we'll just keep an eye on these tires we'll just stop them before they make this um this track Okay, so we don't want to send this guy. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. And that's as much as he can hold. So we need him to actually fill out that first 7 before we send one more guy. So what we'll start to do then is we'll grab one of these guys and send... Um, our coal up. There we go, so that's all of our trains upgraded. Keeping an eye on these tires, but once those tires get there, then that's basically our sets of tires needed for that guy. Let's see, we've only just hit seven with this guy, so that wasn't the worst sort of holdout. Wait till this guy's far enough along that he's not going to be way. Now I'll just stop him as well. Actually, I'm allowed to turn trains around here, so let me just flick him back over here because I don't want. If he landed there, he would just get, uh, he would just disappear because they can only hold 28. Like I said before, we need him to uh, just sort of it to already be working so that those last two do actually also get made so what we'll do is we'll send some workers down and then some um, ingots behind that so that the first two can at least get made just keep an eye on this guy just try and stop him before he needs to keep moving through another train too we've got money just need to make sure we spend a little bit more yeah so you can see one's built two's built so all of the required sort of build there is done um just wait for this guy to get past and we'll flip this guy around and then we just need to get more workers down here. Hit 24. Let's keep an eye on this guy. Zoom in or something to see him. Okay. So, 7, uh, 14, 21. One more guy to fix that out. Then what we need to do is send uh, 
what I'd like to do is send um, this guy down here. And the fact that that's still just sort of building away says to me that, yeah, this takes a long time to get built. But we've got to be careful because I don't want these trains to crash into the back of each other. So I'm going to that. No. Let's go. Thank you. Tell this guy to turn in. We've got two of those trains side by side. On well overboard with the amount of guys I need to send there because I didn't mean to send him, I realize now. So let's just quickly pause him, flip him around, and send him that way. While we're waiting too, let's start to get our 42 guys that need to down here, down there. Okay, and with this guy coming, let's start to send these guys. So this will be the first 21 of the 35 that we need for that. And then we can back that up with um, some microchips too, so the microchips just keep processing. Microchips, we might have another bit of tires too. But what we'll do is we are going to pause tires down here for a moment. Let's let those guys speed through because what we want to do is get those these workers down here. So we've currently got 21, we need 42. Let's get them moving. And what we'll do is we'll get our 30 guys from here, up this way. send the microchips then we're allowed to send the appliances and then we've got to send these 42 guys now the other important thing down here is that this guy can't keep manufacturing once he hits 28 so we're just going to let some guys out um, not necessarily let them send all the way up at the moment because we've got other trains on the line but it could be a pretty close race for who's going to get there first I think this guy should cross that point before this guy reaches it good so we'll get rid of three lots of that uh, let's send these guys then. Now, before we forget, the other important thing is let's just build some um, garbage. 402. Almost get me there. Done. Alright, there's our 700 spent. Pause that guy for a second. Let's pause him. Uh, what do we got? So we'll let these guys go by. We'll let him head up. Send the two of these. Only one left for that. Good. So we've math is out correctly. We've got two minutes. Keep an eye 
down this guy. I mean, he won't collide into that guy anyway. Oh, let's let him run through just to give us a bit of space. Done. There we go. Real time killed it. Fun's ordinary. Game time ordinary. Pretty standard for me. Any uh, questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.